Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore China, Tanzu or Zhongguo. And this week I'm going to talk about Lu Sun's Kuangren Reji. So Lu Sun, he is most likely the most appreciated author, the Chinese author of the 20th century. And the Kuangren Reji, so the diary of a madman, of a madman, is the first short novel uh, which has ever been published in China. And inside this novel, Lu Sun is talking about uh, a diary. So there's a diary which has been uh, read to us in, in 13 chapters. And the diary is talking about a person who other persons think that he's mad. Um, but he's writing in this diary that he thinks that all people around him, so children, mothers, fathers, uncles, they are all eating man. And that he thinks that in the old um, tradition writings uh, of the, the uh, Sishu Wu Jing, for instance, that between the lines he th sees uh, eat people, chi ren, and that all people around him are chi ren ren. And by this, he basically is criticizing the Confucian virtues and the Confucian values which have been practiced around him. And he's also looking quite depressed on the contemporary China during that time with all the suffering and the, the war between uh, Im imperial uh, nations which were fought on the Chinese ground here uh, referring to the Chinese uh, uh, to the uh, Soviet Japanese war and it's interesting to see Lu Xun criticizing here this uh, Confucian ideals and I, I'm also I now begin to understand why Mao Zedong was kind of in favor of Lu Xun or later then said he is the great thinker and a great revol revolutionist and this is due to the fact that Mao Zedong I think also wanted to change the system and wanted to aban abandon all the old traditions and customs um, but however uh, yes I like this book and it was very cheap and very uh, yeah, thin and it's a dual uh, dual language book, so it has an English version and a Chinese version. But the Chinese is actually in traditional Chinese characters in Fantizze, so it was a little bit difficult to read. Uh, I didn't know it when I bought it, um, but still this version was good because it had, had English then. So sometimes it was too difficult for me to understand the Fantizze, and I was too lazy to look up all the all the words and use my Pleco app for this. And yeah, the Fantitze and Gentitze. Uh, so basically, there's only now traditional characters in Taiwan or on Taiwan and uh, in Hong Kong and probably also Macau. I'm not sure about this. And maybe in Malaysia as well and Singapore. But uh, otherwise, in, in mainland China, they used only the Gentitze because Mao Zedong, as I said, uh, as I just mentioned, him, uh, he revised and simplified the characters because he saw. Why we still have so many people who cannot read and write, so we need to make the language easier. And this is why there is the Gen Tzu. And from now on, I think I will try to introduce to you each week one uh, new book about China or a Chinese book. And now I would also like to ask you what is your most, uh, what is the book you like the most about China and or what Chinese book do you like the most? Please let me know and write it in the comments and this is it and see you again guys.